Okay. Welcome back to uh, the Pack Attack. Okay, we have a question from Twitter, at Jagu. Dear fellow baby, what do you think about the eSports phenomenon with games like League of Legends, StarCraft II, Call of Duty, etc.? cetera? Um, phenomenon's a big word. I I I'd say, you know, eSports is growing in popularity. Um, it's chicken and egg. You're gonna need prize money to attract a lot of players. Uh, you're gonna need a lot of prize money to get people really excited about it and uh, wanna watch it. And that's happening. I mean, prize money is going up. You know, when people are gonna play a tournament and win 50 bucks, you're not gonna get very many people entering. When they can win a million bucks, you'll get a lot of people entering. I think you're gonna need that kind of prize money and we're starting to see prize, you know, prizes that approach a million dollars. Uh, so when you start seeing a lot of money at stake, I think that it encourages a lot of fans to watch and care about the outcome and it makes some of the players into stars. Uh, we really need some stars. I mean, I think in Korea you have plenty of stars. Uh, the only star I can really name, uh, you know, in the West is uh, Fatality Wendell. Um, I think that, you know, he plays Painkiller. Uh, but I think you're going to start to see people emerge that are, you know, that are League of Legends fans. And it would be cool to see Activision sponsor Call of Duty real money tournaments. That would be fun because I think you'd really see people, you know, come out of the woodwork that you haven't heard of that are those guys with, you know, with uh, whatever 10 to 1 kill ratio um, that, that you just can't stand seeing coming when you're playing Call of Duty. Anywho, that was kind of a non-answer, but eventually. Our next question from Twitter comes from at, I'm guessing here, on slug tree, on slough tree, I don't know. Hey, Pack Pack crew. That's you guys? Pack Pack crew, my crew? When will we see digital releases like PSN games get tracked by MPDs? So what do you guys think? I know what I think, but I, they asked the crew. What's the crew think? When's the MPD going to pick up digital downloads? I was taking photos of you. And I when they can make, when they can charge people for the information, people are actually going to give a shit. The truth, I believe, though, Marcus, is that they can charge people for the information. They just can't get the information. So, so let me give you guys a little, a little brief lecture on MPD. MPD is a quite a brilliant service. MPD is a voluntary reporting service. So the people who actually sell stuff, that would be retailers voluntarily report their sales. And MPD actually has software built in to uh, point of sale tracking, meaning that when you go to the counter to check out and the clerk at the cash register barcode scans your product, that barcode scan feeds into software for the, for the cash register system and that feeds directly to MPD. So they're actually tracking every unit of everything sold. Um, there's voluntary reporting of things like blue jeans and you know, things like footwear and things like video games and movies. MPD captures all that stuff and then they parcel it, you know, parse it and charge people like me for the privilege of buying something that retailers voluntarily, voluntarily report. The retailers report because they actually value the aggregate of all that information. They want to know what their market share is. So uh, NPD started, NPD, in case those of you didn't know this, started as natural, natural, National Purchase Diaries. There's something I bet you guys didn't know. Um, and it used to be people would actually scribble into a diary at the point of sale what they sold. And then NPD would collect all that stuff and do the same service for retailers. Um, they do it for games and I doubt that you're going to get the same kind of voluntary reporting on downloadable content, mostly because the downloads happen in random places, uh, primarily on the console through Xbox Live and through PlayStation Network. Well, you've really only got two players and Microsoft knows every single download that you do on your Xbox Live account. Sony knows every single download you do on your PlayStation Network account. There's no reason for them to share information. They don't really care if the other is doing something more or less, so they're not going to share. Um, downloads through PC are even tougher to track. I mean, if you're downloading virtual items on Zynga, for example, or on Blizzard, uh, what do you call it, Battle.net uh, through Blizzard, then again, Blizzard knows exactly what you're downloading in their games, Zynga knows exactly what you're downloading in their games, they don't need to share it. They don't really care what their competition's doing. So I think the voluntary reporting is highly unlikely in the case of virtual items. 
I think MPD would love to capture all that because that would give them something that they could sell to me for even more money. Um, I think it would be great for the industry if there were voluntary reporting, and I think it would be great for the industry if MPD captured it and sold it because then we'd have a full picture on what's going on with video games. But uh, it's the voluntary reporting side of it that I think isn't going to happen. So if we don't get voluntary reporting, nobody's going to capture it. If we don't capture it, we're not going to have the information and we have to wait for things like Electronic Arts earnings calls where they tell us that you know Battlefield had $70 million of DLC sold in the course of the year and then we try to put it all together. That's how it works. Probably not getting any better anytime soon. Beefcake asks, what's your favorite shirt brand to wear? Also, is that an Oxford shirt you're always wearing or just a dress shirt? All right, so. Fix your color. Huh? You just messed up your color. Oh, fuck. If you're gonna talk about your shirt, you gotta feel that. There you go. I'm not gonna talk about this shirt because my wife bought me this shirt. I have no idea what shirt this is. We can look at the, at the label. All right, I wear J. Peterman t-shirts. It's my favorite shirt brand. The, uh, and that's not undershirts, that's like long sleeve colored t-shirts. J. Peterman catalog. There really is a guy named J. Peterman that was famous in Seinfeld. Did they have Seinfeld when you moved here? They have Seinfeld. They, they are hey, of yes. J. Peterman is a gray haired guy that Elaine worked for. Um, they, anyway, J. Peterman is a great catalog. Um, as far as what I always wear when I'm dressed up, uh, yes, I like Oxford cloth. So I have my shirts made because when you're fat and tall with long arms, you have to have them fit your fat wide body and your long arms. So I get these shirts made. The material is Oxford cloth. I have a US tailor made in the US, Michael Hopkins. They are dress shirts. They are made from Oxford cloth because I like them. I wear button down collars because they don't flip up and you don't have to worry about collar stays. And uh, I, I like them, so that's why I wear them. I've always had my shirts made. I have about a hundred of them, so that's why they're always clean because if they get stained, I just get rid of them and get a new one every couple of years. I get another 20 or 30. All right, fellow babies, thanks for joining us again on this week's Pack Attack. Uh, if you have a question, submit it at the link below, or you can submit it to me on Twitter at Michael Pactor. And you have to copy at Rohan Likes Pants because not only does he select all the questions, but he is a whore for Twitter followers. And he really, really likes pants. See this and other GT shows and game reviews on the GT Originals iOS app, available now on the App Store. So I can give you a little context to where we are. We're, we're on Alamitos Bay, which is uh, the extreme southern end of Los Angeles County. We're right in front of Orange County, still, uh, still a Democratic area. And if you are fortunate enough to have ever watched Dexter on Showtime, uh, all of the outdoor scenes of Dexter are filmed here. In fact, the scene where all the bodies spilled out of the back of a truck a year ago, two years ago, two years ago, was right there. That intersection right there. All, did you guys see Dexter? That's where the bodies were. And okay. you can click those videos and it'll launch them back to the site. God, that's awesome. All right, fellow babies, thanks for joining us. Uh, you can check out more episodes on GameTrailers.com or you can check out the videos on the right. That's my left, I know, but if you're looking at me, that's the right side of the screen. Click on those videos. You can check out some other game trailer shows. Thanks for joining us.